We still needed a programming language to let developers unlock the full power of the Radix engine and Cerberus. For the internet to really take off, it also needed a programming language built specifically for programs to run in web browsers. JavaScript was created, and suddenly the browser could react intelligently to user input without needing to run back to the server for a whole new page every time. The invention of JavaScript led to an explosion of innovation and took the internet from the static websites of the Web 1 era to the dynamic social media giants that dominated the Web 2 era. Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter would literally be impossible without JavaScript. We've done the same thing for Web 3. We've created a programming language specifically for the needs of Web 3 and DeFi and it's called Scripto. The next part of the Radix stack that makes Web3 easy to build and deploy. We knew that to get 27 million developers into Web3, coding had to be as intuitive as possible. So we started with the user experience first, something that JavaScript really should have done. Over a year and a half, we showed nearly 1,000 developers how to program in an asset-oriented way using Scripto with the Radix engine. Interview after interview, you could start to see the light bulb moment when it clicked. Many even went home and started building Web3 programs in Scripto code without any prompting from us, having only seen the documentation once. Some developers have even told us that it feels like cheating to build Web3 or DeFi dApps using Scripto. That's what happens when you design tools that provide the absolute shortest path from idea to implementation. With the Radix engine, Scripto puts assets, accounts, and permissions at the heart of the programming language. Scripto makes DeFi, NFTs, tokens, and liquidity pools all core to the language. It treats asset security as a primary function, not an afterthought. It makes digital assets feel like physical objects. Scripto is the world's first programming language built specifically for the needs of Web3. It went into early access in December of 2021. Since then, it has become one of the fastest growing languages in the space. In just 12 months, Scripto has gone from zero to over 4,500 developers learning the language. And we've had some incredible feedback along the way. Things like, I still find it hard to believe I was able to make that in just a few days. And as a Google software engineer, this has to be one of the best programming languages I've seen yet. And even, I have programmed in Solidity, Plutus on Cardano, and the fee language on Ethereum. And I can guarantee you that Scripto is the best I've had in my hands. And more, loads more, just like that. And while we love hearing so many kind words, the real proof of success is in the applications that the community has already built, while Scripto is still in alpha. Our community repositories are already stuffed full of examples of decentralized exchanges of every stripe, oracles, lending platforms, yield farming systems, DAOs, and countless other smaller building blocks. Everything needed to run a fully-fledged DeFi ecosystem already exists in open source code that anyone can go and use. All before smart contracts are even live on the Radix public network, the starting gun to launch will be the Babylon upgrade of the Radix mainnet in 2023. Throughout the history of platforms, from Twitter to TikTok, from YouTube to Twitch, from Ethereum to Avalanche, the people that got in early on these platforms are best positioned to reap the largest rewards. If you have been wondering when is the best time to get started with Radix, 
It was yesterday. But luckily, the second best moment is right now.